What's happening here? Oh, is he just a merchant? What's he doing? Hey, flies attacking you, buddy. Yep. I love these people sometimes, they're so funny. Oh, level 3 lock. We can sort that out pretty quickly. More exploding traps. Crikey. You right there, darling? You just cold? Yeah, you just cold. Getting some... Getting some warmth up. Oh, he's... Nope. He hasn't finished begging. That is so weird that they do that. It's kind of creepy. Oh, I see another locked thing down there, but... I was curious to come up here first. And a lot of chests. Fantastic idea we made. Some serum, right? Hey, hey, Mister, you got a minute? Oh, I need to ask you something. We found our friend. The guy I was looking for. Hey, buddy, I was looking for you. You Zachariah Man, sir? You are, aren't you? You're helping out the Merchant Prince, right? I guess. Yeah. What's going on? I don't. My partner died a few days ago, got sick, just all of a sudden. A lot of folks catching it, but no one cares none because it's only killing refugees. They don't care about us or what's causing it. They don't care that we all seem to be catching it. Sick and dead everywhere, everywhere. No remedy or nothing. Only one who seems to care or help is that preacher son. But he can't heal everyone. He's just one fella. Preacher's son healing the sick. Sure enough. Boys known for performing miracles. I ain't religious, see, even less now than my heart, my soul, my love was taken. So I don't know if it's true. Just telling you what I've heard. We gotta find what's causing this disease and get a cure real quick. No one around here has much, and now they're even losing their lives. You gotta help us. I'll see what I can do. Oh shit. When he first said my partner died, I thought he meant his business partner, because he's talking about the prince and, prince and such. So when he said, then he started saying my heart and my soul, that sort of, that sort of weren't past my defenses and hit me in that soft spot. Alright, I'm gonna help you buddy, because you spoke to me. What were your wife's symptoms? I don't know. I ain't a doctor, but a lot of stomach stuff, cramps, throwing up, just pain everywhere. She was even starting to see stuff that wasn't there talking crazy it was off sounds like dysentery i'm not a doctor but it's probably cancer what about everyone else who's sick most are poor like us around the neighborhood of the gates left the corporations with nothing arrived here with nothing now they're dying because they can't even afford a doctor let me go talk to other refugees and see what i can find thank you mr manser this music is just not fitting the mood ever at all. It's so light and happy. They need to rethink their music really, really badly. I guess that they like thought of thought, oh yeah, it's gonna be like future themed and it's gonna be fantastic and everyone's gonna think it's so cool, but it's, it's not really that good. At least that, that song. Like it reminds me of a... What would, what would you call it? The Super Mario Karts. Just racing around that being silly. Anywho. Got 10 serum out of a level 2 lock. Okay then. The world is not fair. And we got a whole bunch of stuff out of this that what I can assume is only a trash can of some sort. I should probably ditch that abundance coat so I don't get confused by it. Anyway, so current objective for this fella. Back on track. So we just gotta wait for that. I don't I don't know if we can actually leave uh, this place. I forget what it's called now. Noctus. I assume we can, but 
That's fine. Where's the... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's side mission. That's why I was tracking it. Okay, I see. Uh, yes. Okay, now I get it. Now I'm on board. I forgot there was a side mission section. I thought they were all just conglomerated into one mission area. I'm actually not sure if I will 100% this game from that point of view, like do every single side mission. I'll certainly do a few of them, but I don't know if I'm going to do all of them. Hey, let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Why not? What do you want to know? You know the man beside you? Of course. He's a friend. That requires science, Thank right? You. Sure enough. You're welcome. I'm gonna take him to the preacher's son soon. Here he's been healing folks left and right. Did I fuck up? What the hell just happened? I don't know what I just did. I just left. I didn't even ask him questions. Shit. God damn. Oh well. Let's get our science up and going. Hi. Hi. I, oh, my stomach. Oh. Ah, oh, my stomach. I'm trying to figure out what's making everyone sick. Can I grab a blood sample from you? It'd help a lot. Yeah. yeah if, it, if it helps find... Helps find a cure. Take all you want. Ah. Oh. I should be able to use this to see what's making all those people sick. Fuck it. Let's take a closer look at this sample. Arsenic. Should have known. Symptoms match, but who would have poisoned all these people? These people were poisoned. Had to be the community soup. Need to take a sample, run some tests, and find out what's in it. Mr. Mansa the Scientist. You crazy, crazy man. Robots, what do you think of this? Zach, perfect timing. You remember Abby Goodman, friend of mine you helped before? No. Yeah, of course. Is she really your friend, or all just part of the cover you had going on? No, <laughs> no. She is. She's a spy for Noctis too, though. She's actually been working on something for me and finally managed to get some info I'd been trying to get. Well, I suppose we should listen to this. What information was that? I... I spent a part of my life in a rehabilitation camp after my arrest in Ophir. It was the worst time of my existence, and I've always wondered how I'd ended up here. Who had turned us in? We were just a group of street kids. We would steal food here and there, but we weren't dangerous. However, we were arrested and deported to a camp like hardened criminals or terrorists. What happened followed me for many years, until I learned that an important member of the Vori clique was responsible for the deportation of dozens of people. Most of them were innocent, but a nuisance for the mob. I want to find that guy. I want to know if it's he who got us deported. I want to understand why, and make him pay. For me, and my companions, of course, but also for those poor people who hadn't asked for anything. Yeah. I understand. That man seems to be a real scumbag. I'll help you find him. Thank you, Zach. Do you like music? You miss making music? I miss performing. I mean, I still sing for myself here and there, write new lyrics when I feel inspired. But the moments I shared with my audience, it was so intense when I felt everyone humming with me. How about you sing for me? Maybe another time. But I'd love to. There's something intimate in sharing your art. Like sharing your soul. It's why I feel like music can unite people across corporations, on opposite sides of wars or causes. It's simply beautiful. And in between the notes, our differences seem to disappear. The second all this ends, I'll get back to it. It's what I was born for. 
and I'm not one to deny destiny. Sing for me, woman! I'm a bit scared to ask these other ones because it might kill her reputation with me, but. Screw it. How the hell did you go from being an artist in Ophir to a spy in Noctis? Less of a stretch than you think. After all, a good lie, like good art, has to be close to your reality, right? Truth? I was an orphan. Parents did die, and I was on the street and got sucked into a gang. We all got arrested pretty quick and ended up in a rehab camp. Swore I'd die there a couple of times because I wasn't going to let him brainwash me. And they didn't take too kindly to that. I took the beatings but got to keep my mind. Then the day came. Noctis attacked. They freed a lot of us and brought me here, took care of us, gave us a chance to have lives again. So I felt like I owed them something in return and offered to go back to Ophir as a spy. Good thing, too. Otherwise, who would have torn you out of Victor's grip and brought you back here? Probably Scott. Ooh, Nisha. Your relationship with your companions has just improved. The friend reputation gives you talent bonus, which can be seen in the talents page. Well, we're going to become unfriendly with her now. You always been alone? Or never had anyone you cared about? You mean guys? Why? You the jealous type, Zack. Afraid of some competition? Scared you won't measure up? <laughs> there was one guy, Nick. I was only 10, but I was head over heels for him. He died in the rehab camp after we were all deported around the same time, though. Other than him, a couple flings here and there, but nothing much more serious than that. You asking because you heard the rumors and no fear that I'd sleep with anyone wearing a medal? No, I was just... I did what I had to do, Zack. To do my job. Never cared about those guys. That's the truth. You just did what you had to do. What? Plus two reputation? Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how this reputation thing works now, but evidently she likes us. We like her. Why not? Let's see what we can do. What can you tell me about Dandolo? He's a complex man, Zack. Not the type to sum up in a few words. He's smart, warm, generous, and completely dedicated to his city. But he's also very manipulative, and he can sometimes be coldly pragmatic. That scares me. I love him like a father, and I don't really want to see him lose himself in his power like many others have. Yeah, fair enough, buddy. Fine, buddy. Fair enough. I think I've already asked about all those before. Phobos! Quest! Hello, Phobos. Hello, Zachariah. What can I do for you? He's very formal, isn't he? He's like, Hello, Phobos! How is your day? We're already. I thought we already asked about this stuff. Yeah, we definitely did. I remember you told us about your mother and how she helped you and you helped her kill herself in a scary sort of way but we won't ask about that again now will we because that made you sad right Nisha 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 I don't remember where this is right oh ally relationship bonus traps lock picking plus one huh ah Hmm. You know, I'm okay with that. I am, I'm, I'm, yep, yeah, that, that's fine with me. Obtain proof of poisoning, where are we? We're going towards the poisoning area, aren't we? So that's good. Before we do that, actually, yeah, we'll keep the science cloak, coat, the science coat on. Oh, this is the soup kitchen. Okay, right. That's why these people are hanging out here. Hey, cook. What the fuck? You work here? Yep. I help cook. You eat here too? Yes, of course. But only a little. I have a weak stomach, so I don't eat everything that's offered. Why? I'm sure you've heard about all the refugees getting sick. There's a chance it's coming from your food. 
Oh, my. I couldn't imagine how. I just take what they give me and cook the dishes how I'm told. That's all. I don't add anything. So the disease must be coming from somewhere else. Who gives you the food? Well, I mean, it all comes from the parish donations given to the preacher's family. Real good people, you know. They can't have anything to do with it. Their son actually heals the sick. So don't go pointing the finger at them, you hear me? It ain't in the food that's making people sick. I'll tell you that. Oh, shit. He's... He's not an angel. Uh, what is it called? The mercy angel that goes around letting people ease their suffering? He's... Like the the, I feel like this is like the the preacher's son who's trying to be like one of those. I think it's like firemen that tend to do it, where they go light fires and they go and put out the fire and be heroic. It's like yeah, I I, I saved you kind of thing. That, that's what I feel like's happening right now. And there's still a quest marker here for it. Oh, never mind. Food sample. Let's analyze this and end the mystery. I wonder what happens if we do... Actually, yeah, if we fail, then we can just keep going, can't we? We can just go ask Scott for help. Let's find out the killer ingredient in this soup. Better find Scott. He'll be able to run all the tests I need. You disappoint me, Zach. Before we do that, I wouldn't mind chatting to the preacher's son, because I thought he was more... differently quest-orientated. Pretty sure you're the preacher's... No, you're not the preacher's son. The preacher's son is... Somewhere. I'm gonna find him. Long distance caravans arrived and it's going straight to the palace again. When will I ever get my delivery? Stop being so impatient. The prince wants a recollection of the journey and news updates from our distant contacts. It's normal and necessary. Without his vigilance, Noctis would be nothing more than a pack of misfits. Yeah, yeah. But while the prince is chatting, my goods just sit there. My perishable goods. Quit your whining. If you've waited for months, a few hours won't kill you. He has a point there, my friend. As though I, I feel your pain in a, a degree. Can I get up there? I can't gimp it, okay. I have to go around. Alright, look, can you move out the way? I gotta lockpick this thing. Level 2? That's nothing. Take everything until I get weighed down with crap. I do have to say though that I find the inventory management, just just the inventory screen itself, to be I don't know, it's just not good. Doomsday this, blah blah that. Not the religious type, eh? Oh no, I'm a chronic believer. I just switch beliefs every couple weeks. What? Yeah, so... I just feel like it's not very good. It's, it's a lot of clicks to get to places. It should have made it a bit more easy to, to work with, but I suppose it's... They probably thought of it from a console point of view where it's easily more manageable from that section rather than a mouse and keyboard. Anyway, even then it's probably still not very good. Not sure why they went down that route. Preacher's son, where are you, you filthy fiend? Ah, I found you. Hey, hello there, Shadow Brother. I'm Greg. My father's the town preacher. I've heard you've been healing some sick refugees. I have. The Shadow has blessed me with a tremendous gift. I feel their suffering, and I consume their pain, taking it from them as I guide them towards faith. Their ailments leave them, and they stand stronger than ever before. Not all believe, of course. You, though, a Technomancer, knows the limitless power of the Shadow. Knows that it is the heart of all life with the power to accomplish all. Right, of course, the shadow. Sure, it's not the soup that's been making them sick? The soup you gave them? I'm sorry? What? What are you... I feed the wretched when no one else will. Care for them when, when they are sick. 
nurture their bodies and souls. Did you question us as, as the cause for their ills? You disgust me. Leave us out! Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, he got very angry. Someone who is meant to be your sort of pious and then he got pretty angry, but anyway, let's go talk to Scott and hopefully we didn't screw ourselves over. Zachariah, you look good. Better than I. As if that was hard to accomplish. Thanks, buddy. Here's a sample of the community soup the refugees are eating. Need to know if it's got arsenic in it. I don't like soup, Zachariah. It makes me sweat when I eat it. Unless it's cold soup. But even then, I don't like it. Never trust a man who eats or makes soup. That's a fact. Maybe you could just put that back to test with a little science? Actual experimentation on the sample? Fine. Just as I said. And yet another reason to hate soup. It's laced with garbage like arsenic. Who would feed such a dish to the poor, Zachariah? Tell me that. That's a very good question, my friend. Wouldn't enter the schemes of the preacher's son. Evidently, we're going to go and confront him again and say, Yo, this is happening. This is happening, boyo. I'm going to equip myself with something that should help me probably be a bit better uh, at fighting you. Because I feel like this is going to be a bit of a fight. And I'm going to stand here so I can actually see your... Bye, boys. Get out the freaking way. I'm not talking to you. Because that's frustrating when you, when you can't see the person's face. Get, get out of the way, Freddy. What the hell would possess you to poison all those refugees? What did they ever do to you to deserve that? Have you ever been adored by people? How generous they can be when you save their lives. When they believe that you healed them? They flocked to my father's temple. Why wouldn't I have done it? Because people died and a lot are still suffering. Like you're pathetic. Maybe so. But better to be disgusting than stupid. I knew you'd be coming around sooner or later. So I loaded up with bodyguards. Do what I'm paying you for. Kill him! Okay, I just need to remember the controls. Not enough fluid, that's fair enough. Alright, so that's dodge. That's to kick. I... I can't remember what my attack was. The uh, big attack. That's it. Control. Stop! No! Stop! Stop! I'm rich! Everyone respect my father, Inoctus! Let me live, and he will pay you all the serum you could ever want. Bobo, stop that. I'm actually kind of impressed that those two managed to beat him down so quickly whilst I took on just one little henchman. Well... Are you a rich boy, Zachariah? You don't really kill people unless you really have to. That's sort of just the way I'm going. You're kind of disillusioned. You're kind of out of place. You need money. You don't really need money. Screw it. I'm not gonna kill you. Enough people have died already. What you're gonna do is give the antidote to every refugee you made sick, and never go within a block of that community soup again. We clear? Yes, of course. I, sure, sure. Antidote for everyone, yeah, and, and I, I promise not to do anything like that ever again. How stupid, I swear. I, thank you, thank you! Don't thank me. I already regret not making you pay dearly. Bad preacher. Bad, bad, bad preacher's son. No.